Okay. Now what? Trust me and follow my lead, okay? like that. We're definitely in the high rent district now. Not residential though. I think some kind of administration building. Probably. Maybe Libertalia had a zoning committee. <laughs> Maybe they paid taxes. Who knows? Nothing up here. Improvised barricades? What the hell happened here? Some kind of battle. It's a rhetorical question. The real question is who's fighting who? Why? Some of these bodies, dressed a bit more fancy, look like soldiers. Colonists versus the soldiers. And if that's the treasury up there, it appears someone was trying to make a withdrawal. Yeah, let's just hope they didn't succeed, right? Man, this is impressive. Uh, to say the least. it is you think Rafe no nothing's been touched in here for hundreds of years right well search for clues yeah search for clues What's this? Old manifest. What's well, a treasure?
thief. Found something. I'm amazed this letter's still intact. Nathan, over here. Hey, Nathan, check it out. What do you got? The battalion money. It says Avery Sigil on it. Mm -hmm. Must have melted down the gold, minted his own currency. So based on that, all the manifests on the shelves, the treasure was here. Yeah. Here's the bigger question. Where is it now? Okay, so we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah, Dan, inside. What do you think, the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look, there's Avery, two. Founders of Libertalia. All marked with the word thief. Not murderer, not tyrant. Thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys had already taken it for themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? Uh, pirates will be pirates. Huh. I know where they moved it. What? Where? It's a map. Yeah, right there. That's our treasury. It's, it's a map of Libertalia. All right, so follow it to the other side of the island. And look, right there. New Devon. But Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. You say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. Now, how do we get up there? Okay, ready? Okay, that's step one. Step two. Raise the chandelier. Good idea. <laughs> Sounds surprising. Just take the compliment. <laughs> All right. Now well, the place is looking classy. <laughs> Nice one, Tarzan. No. Sorry, Condon. Baldridge. What? You're stepping on Baldridge. Oh, so I am. All right. Up we go. I'm really shocked the stairs are intact. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jinx us. Oops. 
Spoke too soon. Like I said. Nathan, you seeing this tower? Sure am. Sam? Yeah? All right, just making sure you haven't plummeted to your death. <laughs> just about there. <laughs> sure is excited. Hey, can you get me up there? Your bed. Come on, ready? Ready. All right, I found something. Hey, stand back. Here you go. The crow's nest, huh? There it is. Just on the other side of the river. Now, why do you say we go rob from the rich, huh? Hey, is there a path down there? Uh, of sorts. Come on. How long do you figure it'll take us to get the new Devon? Well, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. RPG! Oh, shit! Jesus! You all right? Yeah? Come on! Go to the window! <laughs>
Thanks. Boy, run! Run. Oh, this is nuts! Run! Help me get the goddamn door open! Try this again. Okay, Mango, Mango! What are you on about? Oh, well, it's my safe word. Mm. Are you always this clever? Uh, I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. Wait, there's, there's still time. Trust a drink. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey, just, just let's talk about this. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Oh, come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! <laughs> I'm tired of this island! I'm tired of your brother! And I'm tired of you! Oh, I know you don't! Get out! Don't do that! We just talk about this! I don't think so! Fast, but you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they. Shit. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Everybody, just, just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate, Samuel, put your guns down, all of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. So be it. Not another step! 
mean like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! <laughs> Start! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're a businessman. Let's just... Let's work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. I'd love to hear what you have in mind. <laughs> oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just... I... You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. <laughs> the gauchos on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied? You lied to your baby brother? We're wasting time! Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive. And somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden. And your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Uh, oh, yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no, no. Listen. Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my light for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself, keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't listen. here anyway. I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. I've been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. Andy. 
here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Yeah, we start by finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking the window. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. See? What I tell you. Well, it was worth a try. Let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan, <gasps> look. An open window. Oh, yeah. Hey, follow me. Give me your hand. All right, there you go. I can't jump that high. Follow me. Come on, Nathan. Brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Hmm, nothing in here. Nope. It's not gonna be in this attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. Down we go. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. Yeah, I know, but... It's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. <sighs> Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No, it's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. 
Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is. Was this your house? Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep, always the asshole. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push! 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 What the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Man, this is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> hmm, huh. this one's Roman. Third, maybe fourth century. Hmm. And you recognize that one? Uh, I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife. Buried together. It's kind of dark. And like in an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. Well, I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston, come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. to get an invite like this. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Well, here we go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. 
Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Hey, I might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. Hey, check it out. in there. Fertility totems. Hey, aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh, I'm too old. Wow. This table is as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Flintlock rifles. I wonder if they still work. Prince of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Jousting armor. Looks French. Hey. Maybe you don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much? A dragon gong. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Going it alone. These compass, sundial. Just imagine being lost at sea. And those instruments are the only things standing between death and salvation. Yeah. It's crazy. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? <sighs> Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing from Mom. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Is that a letter? What's left of it? Someone wanted to buy their stuff. Guess they said no. Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh... Let's check upstairs.
samurai. Eh? You recognize the crest? Uh, Hollyhock leaves our, um... Let's see. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Kugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. locked mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms we gotta find another way in into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right. Let's see what you got then. Smile, all right. <sighs> Don't lose it. Don't fall. Okay, I'm in. Can you get the door open? Uh, hold on. <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. <sighs> it's locked from this side, too.
Anything? <sighs> Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Fine. something <laughs> this is it Seen this one? Yeah, me either. But that, you know, that's definitely Mom's handwriting. Put up your hands slowly. Hey, hey, hey! There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm sorry, Nathan. So what now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady, it was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. And at least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. You're Cassandra Morgan's boys. Uh, hi? My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you're still nice, so, uh, do you mind? <sighs> you knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, Mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But 
than her illness. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sick Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. <laughs> Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, sure, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out, hmm? Yeah. Here. Thank you. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> All right, come on, Nathan. Let's go. Are you okay? Oh, holy shit. Hey. 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 Sam? Sam? Oh, Khalid? Khalid? You alright? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. You can't just leave her here. There's nothing we can do for her, all right? We have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Sam? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now. Front gate looks clear. Front gate. Got it. Okay. Shit! They're bolting! 
I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. Some night, huh? Some night. That old lady. Hey. Hey, you listen to me. That wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? You can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. Then we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Well, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan? Back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this... Mom's unfinished work. This is our chance to restart our lives. With brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name... Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise, you and me together, we're gonna go far. What do you say? Nathan Drake? And everything changed after that. You know, we became explorers, adventurers, mostly thieves. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, or after I thought I lost him. I, <clears throat> you didn't want to bring him back up again. Something like that. That's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you, uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive, par for the course. 
Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. What do you mean? I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah, they're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey, what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar? No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean the dip, the... The escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you, okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. So, we're headed to the northern side of the island? Yeah, New Devon. Home to the founders of Libertalia. And that's where Wraith is taking your brother. The treasure's probably there. Just need to save Sam before they find it. Look. Up there. I borrowed it from your shoreline friends. You slid all the way down from there? Yeah, it was the quickest way to get down to you. Now we just gotta figure out another way back up. <laughs> Nate, boost yeah. me up this ladder? Here. So, have you been here long? On the island? A few hours now. Did you see the colony? I did, from the air. Pretty incredible, right? I didn't get the full tour. I was a little preoccupied with finding you. Right. So, did uh, Sully fill you in on the deal with this place? Yep. Henry Avery, 400 million, 12 founders, hundreds of colonists. Something like that? Yeah, that just about covers it. Had some time to kill on the flight over. Wow. Is that an elevator? Sure looks like it. I swear, Avery recruited the best engineers of his time. There's your car. Just need to get up there. Well, what do you think? Which way? Well, let's take a look.
gotta be something around here. Ah, refreshing. Here we go. I can boost you up there. Great. Well. <clears throat> hey, do you think there's another way up? Uh. Hey, I see a path up here. There's a way through over there. See if you can find something I can use. Yep. Hey, I found something. Hold on. Look out below. Thanks. Oh. Hey, nice jump. Not bad, right? Way to go, Nate. Piss a girl like that off. Idiot. Come on, I'll meet you around. Looks like a dead end. Well, maybe the elevator still works. I doubt it. 300 years old. Been exposed to the weather, and who knows if it Got ever works. Oh, look. It works. Going up? Next floor, menswear. The fact that this works. Kind of incredible. Ugh. Jinxed it. You know, I'll just uh, meet you at the top, I guess. Nice move. Nothing to it. 
Now then, which way is the car? It'll be easier to spot from higher ground. Right. Good idea. This whole thing is powered by the water wheel down there. It's quite a feat for a bunch of pirates. Well, you should have seen the stuff he built in Scotland. I mean, there was this... Hold up. You went to Scotland, too? Y yeah, I... I mean, you see, the, the last place Avery was... Uh... At least I didn't... Well, see, I, at least I didn't lie again. Mm -hmm. some exercise at least, right? Look, shoreline. They found your car. Technically, it's their car. So, let's get it back. Hang on. Shit. What was that? Nothing. What the? No way I imagined that. <gasps> Fuck out me. All right then. That's it. Shoreline certainly on their reputation. Let's go before more of them show up.
Hey, you see a way out? Up river. There's an opening by the falls. that elevator it's massive yeah I'm guessing new Devon's at the top then let's get up there so here's my question why does Ray Sadler want Avery's treasure it's not like he needs the money what's the glory he doesn't want to be known as a guy who only got rich because of his inheritance walking away isn't an option for him well, Rafe is a good match for Shoreline. He needs their muscle and they need his money. They do? They seem pretty well stocked. Shoreline got involved in a couple of civil wars that didn't pan out for them. Nadine inherited her father's mess. She's probably hoping that this will put her back on the map. So far, so good. Keep heading upstream. Bet you could write a killer article about all this. <laughs> I could. I doubt anybody would believe it. Oh, you could take pictures, too. I didn't bring my camera. Kinda wish I did, though. So, why do you think Sam didn't come straight to you after Rafe got him out of here? I think he wanted to gather every clue that Rafe had on Avery before Bella. Plus, he needed time to come up with that crazy Alcazar shit. I mean, if I just looked it up... That is one crazy contraption. It looks big enough to fit the car. Well, here's hoping this one works as well. Let's look around. Of course not. Would have been too easy. The water wheel's still working. Either we fix this thing or we find a way to climb it. Let's see what's what. Find out.
Stand clear. I got it. Okay. How's that? It looks like I can get up there now. Thank you. Yet. I'm gonna climb higher. Need an elevator just to fix the elevator. Doubt? Wait, hold on. I got an idea. Okay, ready. <laughs> That's my girl. the winch now. Okay. Good call. Here we go. to... Uh... Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh. Hey, watch out! Stay down! Use the car as cover! Let me see if I can find you!
sitting duck in there. Hurry! Fine. After all that, I need a break. Oh, definitely earned it. <gasps> so I was thinking, all this engineering and architecture, it doesn't come cheap. Do you think there's even any treasure left? We're wondering that ourselves. There's the elevator. Yeah, I guess we gotta cross these rapids. This car come with life jackets? There goes nothing. There's nothing. It's no use, the current's too strong. Ah, there. I got control again. We're getting there. You didn't happen to bring us some spare clothes, did you? I did. Great. They're on the plane. Not great. That dam. We can drive through the sluice gate.
go. It's no good. It's blocked. Okay, try the other one. Seen that coming. And behind door number two. Looks like this one's clear. Nice work. Close ish. You need to get more speed. What's wrong? It's too muddy. Gotta go around. Maybe we could get up that way. Good call. Watch this. Hang on! Uh, we did it! You sound surprised. Maybe a little. Two for two. Yeah, which means we're due for some disaster. Well, the water wheel's working. That bodes well. Give me a hand with this.
Pirate engineering. Wow. It's like a postcard. Yeah, Libertalia. Come for the beautiful views, stay for the life or death gunfights. <laughs> So what made you change your mind? Hmm? You said you almost didn't come back. Well, I couldn't leave when you were clearly in over your head. And you know, there's that whole marriage vow thing. For better or worse. Yeah. For better or worse. Give me an amethyst. Right. Okay. You know, even if you think that you're protecting me, you don't have a right to shut me out. No matter what it is, you're supposed to come to me so that we can work through it together as a team. I, I know that. Really, I do. It's just... I... I, I... You know, I... We should stay focused. There'll be time for this later. Next stop, New Devon. We're here, Sully. Where are you? Still in the air. Now a bunch of shoreline vehicles heading north. I guess we'll see them soon. You two doing okay so far? We hit a few hitches, but so far so good. All right, good. Keep in touch, will you? I'm not the no news is good news type. We'll try. Over and out. Okay, should be on the other side of the bridge. Tight. for the car. 
I wasn't trying to protect you. It's just I, I made a promise that I was done with this life. We both did. Yeah, but I broke it. I didn't tell you because I was afraid. Afraid of what? Of losing you. I guess I was uh, protecting myself. You know? We have a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. Just keep moving. This way. Well, at least we're on the right side of the river now. Yeah. That would have been bad. Well, oh, maybe we can come back here on a vacation, huh? Maybe. Oh, I'll buy your lonesome. Rest in peace, my pirate friend. Sign. Traitor. It's one of the rebels. That's a bad way to die. Here's another one. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. More did it. That's one way to quash a rebellion. I have to wonder if this was always the plan. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No, to lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. We are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Well, that is pretty diabolical, even for pirates. Digna factis, requipimus. That gate's not budging. We need to get up and over. Podie Meka Eris in Paradiso. Just need your help for a sec.
Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. Sorry to disturb you, pal. Excuse me. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and some water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. <laughs> a real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. One still intact. Oh. They're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, had a little practice, read a few books. Shit, no shit. What? What? The front door. Sam. He's still alive. Yeah, for now. Come on. All right, keep your eyes open for shoreline types. Yep. There goes nothing. Whoops! Whoa! You all right? Yeah. You know, when Sully told me about this place, I was picturing wooden shacks and simple homes at most. Yeah. Through here, watch your head. Ooh, someone had it in for this guy. Dragon. We're in Christopher Condon's house.
Jesus. I think that's it. You okay? Yeah. Let's push on. Might be a way through this cave. Yeah, it's worth a look. Look, there's something here. It's addressed to Richard Watt. Signed Adam Baldridge. They were both founders? Look, we can climb up there. Yeah, but it's too high, even for a boost. Then let's look around. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your deke boy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. <laughs> Just busting your chops. Yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Ah! <sighs> 
You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. You? Well, wet again. Tired, bruised. Oh, hungry. I could eat. <laughs> Other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. Whew, okay, come on. Let's keep going. Current's really strong here. Come on. Let's try cutting through this house. Yeah. I'm right behind you. What's this? Jesus. Not all Lord of the Flies in here. No kidding. It's beautiful. Hey, check it out. These cannons look like they were retrofitted. Yeah, improvised defenses. Guess they didn't expect they'd be fighting each other. Guess not. Nice water feature. Time for another swim, I guess. The current's too strong. Gonna have to find another way to the other side. Stronger than it looks. Okay. You're welcome. 
Thank you. You make a great counterweight. Uh, I mean... It's okay, I'll choose to take that as a compliment. As well you should. <coughs> Swallow some water. Oops, missed. Hey, if at first you don't succeed. All right, let's do that again. Made it. I'll find a way up for you. Ugh, too hard. Can't do this alone. Okay. This should work. All right, stand clear. Here you go. Okay, great.
Let's move this out of the way. Okay. Hey, look. Thomas II's sigil. So we're in his mansion. Second in command. Going up the pirate hierarchy. Good lord. <laughs> Looks like we found the party. Looks like we're a little late. <laughs> hey, Nate. Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? It's them. Elena, these other pirate captains have founded the Britannia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. <laughs> On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and liberty. Signed, Thomas, too. What do you bet? Thomas, too? Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked... A full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um, uh, what was it, uh... Abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. <laughs> these are some of history's greatest pirates. And they all perished in an instant, at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. There. For posterity. Hey, up here. Slowly. Right behind you. Be careful. Oh, oh. Ah! Okay? I'm okay. I got it. I'll meet you up top. Hey. Hi.
Nate? That shoreline truck is still there. Yeah, I see it. Keep your eyes peeled, huh? And we are officially inside Henry Avery's house. Word of the day, ostentatious. So why didn't he kill Thomas too? Was he like his right-hand man? Yeah, that's exactly what he was. <laughs> Can you imagine taking orders from a paranoid psychopath? This sounds like my first job. Shoreline barricaded the front door. And left a bunch of muddy footprints behind. Let's see where they went. Hmm. The I know, right? I expected to see someone by now. Yeah, it's like they all up and vanished. You don't suppose they're pirate ghosts. Don't even joke about that. Footprints. Hmm. Over here. Footprints go through this door. <clears throat> Crap, it's blocked from the other side. Why bother barricading their path unless... They found something. All right, help me push this open. Yeah.
Jesus. You all right? Yeah. They were just waiting to ambush us. Yeah. All right, let's get that door open. See what they didn't want us to find. Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh, hello there. What is it? It's a letter. Signed by... Avery. Really? Read it. My loyal subjects, as the sun sets on our glorious paradise... We must endeavor to preserve its riches. The traitorous, too, knows our secrets, so we must act quickly. Destroy the dam, cleanse New Devon. Here we go. Uh-huh. And move my treasure through the passage to my ship. Two and Avery turned on each other. Are you really surprised? I guess not. Here you go. Thanks. Let's go find that passage. There's no more footprints. They end here. Okay, so where did they go? Pirate ghosts. <laughs> Let's look around. This is amazing. What? What have you got there? It's a copy of the British proclamation to apprehend Avery. Seems like he was proud of being the most wanted man in the world. Sam's lighter. Did he drop it? Yeah, on purpose. Whatever it is we're looking for has to be somewhere around here. There's gotta be another way out of this room. Maybe that passage Avery mentioned in the letter. But where's the switch? Maybe this is a switch. No. <laughs> I wonder if... Nope. Nate. Yeah? Did you find something? I think so. Whoa! <laughs> Good thing they figured that out for us. How did you do that? There's a bloody fingerprint right here where Libertalia should be, and I... It. Nicely done. So the letter said that Avery was moving his treasure to the ship. Yeah. Do you think the treasure's still on that island? I think, uh, I think it doesn't matter anymore. Here we go. Careful, Nate.
Hit watch your head. Yeah. <sighs> oh. Looks like Avery built himself a panic cave. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where this goes. <laughs> Crap. Guess we're gonna find out. This place doesn't look very stable. Look, fresh footprints. They must have come this way. That's a lot of footprints. Let's take this slow. Crap. There. What the hell was that? My money's on Nadine's men. They'll use any excuse to use dynamite. It'd have to be pretty dumb to use it in here. Yeah, they're pretty dumb. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, hold up. So, some kind of death trap? Uh, yeah. But Sam and the others somehow made it across. We just gotta follow their lead. Ugh. So bad if it didn't creak so much. Just don't go where the footsteps aren't. <laughs> what? And unclench. Whew. Lena, look. Footprints stop here. They must have made it through and it collapsed behind them. Gonna move this out of the way here. Yeah. Damn it. I have to find another way. Oh no. Just hold out a little longer. Have Sam's lighter? Yes. Good idea. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Of course he used it all up. Smoked like a goddamn chimney on the boat right over. Relax. I brought some matches. You did?
course. There we go. Oh, sorry. Just one sec. Hello? Over here! Over here! Thanks. Glad you... Somebody had to. Come on, let's find a way forward. Nice romantic lighting, huh? You have a funny idea of romantic. <laughs> Yes, I do. Nate, look, there's an opening up there. <laughs> Boost me up? Come on. Huh? <clears throat> okay, uh, here we go. Uh, <clears throat> okay, come on up. Thanks. Watch your head. Yeah. We can't go this way. Careful. <clears throat> Whoa. What the hell is this? The hands that stole from me. Wow, Avery's not even pretending to be sane at this point. I don't like this place. Me either. Let's get out of here. Hey, look. Avery had some gibbets left over. Gibbets. What? It's pronounced gibbets. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, no one likes to know it all. Jimmy's. Wait, is that? You okay? I think so. What was that? Trap. Avery really didn't want any trespassers down here. All right, watch your step. Me? You're the one that stepped on it. Fine. Watch my step. Are you okay? Crap! You okay? 
Yeah. Well, now we know what caused the explosion we heard earlier. And no wonder so many parts of this passage have caved in. Hey, Nate. I found a shortcut. How do you know it's a shortcut? I'm trying to be optimistic here. decorated this chamber, too. More human mobiles. <clears throat> Shit. More mummies that go boom. Explode, okay? Just... Brought earplugs. Am I yelling? Nate, be careful. Yeah. Man, Avery's gone all Egyptian. Except this mummification wasn't, you know, voluntary. in the trail. The footprints go this way. Be ready for a fight. Oh, I always am. Is that a, in reference to me? No, would you calm down? You calm down. Hey, guess these guys weren't paying attention. There's no sign of Sam. <clears throat> oh, hell. Elena, get down! I appreciate Avery's exploding mummies.
The mouths that spoke ill of me. I'd hate to see this guy's Christmas tree. I don't see any footprints. We must be on a different route than the others. All right, let's see if we can catch up. Why, hello. Hey. So I guess this loops around? Guess so. Jesus. This was one of Avery's guys. Dead men tell no tales. Looks like a fight broke out. Yeah, two's men versus Avery's. Excuse me. <sighs> Hello. Some kind of key. What's that note? Oh, right. It's, uh, it's from two to his men. Hey, we can use the key to get out of here. That's good. some symbols on the back. Well, let's go find a keyhole. Oh, boy. Explode now? No? How about you? This guy had some serious trust issues. Whoa. Oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> oh god! You're done! Bruce. Thank you. Huh. Not quite as creepy as all the hanging bones. Still, it's a little creepy. Yeah, maybe three out of ten, though. I'd say four. Really, four? Definitely descending. Okay, it's another death trap. Yeah, no footprints to guide us. The symbols match the ones on those posts. <laughs> Two showed his men how to get past the traps.
Okay, we're off to a good start. Follow my lead, okay? Just be careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> Says the guy who set off every mummy bomb in this place. Well, no, not a lot of experience with the mummy bombs. Thank you. So far, so good. Yeah, knock on wood. Better not. It might be rigged. <laughs> yeah. No! There. Made it. In your face, Avery. <laughs> That's our way out of here. Oh, God. Are those the rest of Two's men? Yeah, gotta be. We know Avery likes to make an example of his enemies. He definitely likes making exploding mummies. Yeah. Let's, uh, tread carefully in here. Keyhole? Key. Wait. It could be a trap. We really don't have much of a choice. Oh, boy. But I have a good feeling about this one. Huh? Do it. We didn't get blown to bits. <laughs> Shit. You didn't bring a knife by any chance, did you? No. Oh, but that guy's got a sword. Here, help me swing this thing. Like old times, huh? Lena? Lena? Hey! Hey! Lena, come on! Lena! Uh, my hero. Oh no, you didn't do that. <laughs> no! That's not funny! Oh, oh you have done much worse. No. God, you gave me a goddamn heart attack. Oh. Let me listen. Sounds good to me. You realize we're now even for everything I've ever pulled, right? Yeah, like ever. No, not by a long shot. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you've got mud everywhere. Anyone ever tell you you have a funny idea of romantic? Yeah. Yeah, I may have heard that somewhere before.
Good talk. That's got to be Sam. Come on. At least the gunfire means he's still alive. For now. Is that a galleon? Yeah, sure looks like it. Looks like we can get down this way. Yeah, looks safe. <laughs> uh, we're getting closer to them. Sam. He's surrounded. Yeah. Come on. We gotta go get him. We gotta find a way to the beach. Find your brother. Hey, we can squeeze through here. Look. 
Okay, now where did Sam go? He went this way! Huh? There's your answer. Sight for sore eyes. Yeah. How about we get off this damn beach, huh? Absolutely. Did you find my lighter?
Worst cruise ever. I gotta get out of here. Cruise ever. I gotta get out of here. Did you bring Ray?
Charlie? How you doing, Nate? Look out! Over the RPG! Okay, great time to Sounded better in my head. Nice work, kid. Yeah, thanks for the assist. Come on over. I'll get you out of there. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Good to see you, kid. <laughs> right in the nick of time. Yeah, well, got a little antsy waiting around to hear from you two. Oh, no, we gotta find Sam and Elena still. Hey. Hey. hey, are you okay? Yeah. We heard those explosions, we thought. Yeah, that's all this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you saved his ass again? Naturally. How are you doing? Good. Good. There were some close calls, but, um... He covered me. Hey. Hey. How's that? Oh. <laughs> Bullet grazed my shoulder. Yeah. You? Cliffside? Graze my face. <laughs> so how'd you lose Rafe? <sighs> he led his crew right into one of Avery's traps. Smart. <laughs> hey, hey, look. About the whole Alcazar thing. Hey, just, we gotta save that for later, okay? Yeah. Which way? On the beach, other side of this town. Okay. Good, I hope all that ruckus didn't attract any attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. What are we doing? What do you think we're doing? We're getting the hell off of this rock. Right. We, we, we could do that. Or we could head in that direction, which is a shortcut. Shortcut to what? To Avery's treasure. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, Rafe's got to go all the way around, but we can hey, just... Hey, screw just... Rafe. Hey, Victor, with all due respect, maybe just... You just this... don't know when to quit. Look, we're all here for the same reason, right? We didn't come after the treasure. We came after you. And I appreciate that. I, I, I do. But we're good. A and we've got the lead for now. <laughs> we can do this. Nathan, come on. Huh? Look around. Okay? Avery scuttled every last ship on this island. You know why? Because he was hell-bent on keeping his treasure. Exactly. No matter the cost to the others around him because he didn't want anyone to follow him. Because he was leaving. Look at this. Okay, I found his map of the island, okay? That's his ship right under that mountain. That's where our treasure is. And it is exactly where Rafe is headed right now while we stand around here and argue like idiots. What if he's already left the island and his ship sunk somewhere out there in the middle of the ocean. Then we find out where it got sunk. Oh, boy. How long have we been chasing this thing, huh? <laughs> you and me. No offense to these guys. But they don't get it. Actually, Sam, they do. They really do. Okay. Uh, trust me, they've seen this kind of obsession before. Sam, we're not those kids anymore. We're not. And we got nothing to prove. Victor, where's that plane? Right this way. Is it far? Not very. Just through this port town. What if Shoreline set up an ambush by the plane? They didn't. And what makes you so sure? Because they're heading to the mountain. For the treasure. 
This way. There she is. It's a long drop. How did you get here? I hopped down a few of these walls, but I guess we'll have to find another way around. What the hell was that? That came from the mountain. It's Avery's traps. Hey, that means they're blowing themselves up. No, it means they're on the right path. Hey, come on. Let's just stay focused, huh? If I jump down from up there, it's too high to get back up. Yeah, maybe there's something we can put under it? Give me a hand, Sam. All right. Hey, you need a hand? Hey, no thanks. We got it. Hey guys, through here. Whoa, check that thing out. It's like a sky rail or something. Think it still works? No controls, but I bet I could pull the platform with my rope. Maybe if you could get to that wooden platform down there. Well, we're getting there. I can't wait to sleep in my own bed again. So close, so far. I got an idea. Nathan, give me a hand. Okay. Victor, can I borrow you for a sec? Sure. All right, go ahead, Nathan. Yeah, we'll hold it down. You jump across. You're not gonna drop me, are you? Tempting, but no. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Made it! Here we come. Got it. All right, hop on. I'll pull you across. <clears throat> okay, we're ready. <clears throat> Well, this is some impressive engineering for a bunch of pirates. This is nothing. You should have seen the elevator. Whoa! You guys all right? Yeah. It's like a roller coaster. Come on up, Nathan. 
All right, Nathan, you climb on up. I'll grab you. Go! Jump off, quick! Nate, give me a hand! Sam! Bitch! Sam, come on! Huh? Right. Come on, just jump, I'll catch you. Let's go! No. No, no, don't you even think about it, you hear me? I'm sorry I got you into this. All of you. Hey, all that doesn't matter anymore, okay? Just, just jump. I gotta see this thing through, Nathan. Sam, hey, listen to me. If you do this, I'm not coming after you. You hear me? I'm sorry. Sam. Sam! Oh, stupid, stupid. You called your bluff. He's gonna get himself killed. Come on. She's, she's probably right. Of course she is. Let's go. Up here. Maybe we can head him off. I'm gonna save him, and then I'm gonna punch him. All right, let's just worry about the saving part first. What the hell is he thinking? I mean, after everything that we... Wasn't this enough? Let's just find him. Hey, we can get over that wall with this. Ugh, come on! Here, we got you. You ready? supposed to get up there we don't have enough time Nate no not by yourself Look, I'll come right back okay Look, he is not gonna leave without a fight yeah, well then I'll fight him if I have to but either way I'm bringing him back just get the plane as close to the mountain as you can and be ready for a quick getaway like there's another kind it's not fair Doing the dishes, we take turns. Don't even think about not coming back. <laughs> I love you. Same to you, cowboy. Damn it. I'm sure he's a ways off by now. Just gonna head to the creepy mountain, save Sam, get the hell out of here. Yeah. Be laughing about the whole thing tomorrow. Here we go. 
Back on the trail. The footprints end here. Come on, which way did he... More footprints. Well, you didn't fall to your death, so that's good. Still get a chance to kill you. Christ. <laughs> More footprints. Nope. Well, in we go. Hey, Sam. This is so much harder than it looks. I can do it! Oh, shit! 
Too close. I guess this is my way down. Did you really do all that, Sam? Uh, I doubt it. I found the driveway down.
almost done here? This is the last of a man. Good. If we are here, we can catch up with the others. <sighs> Sam just stole our goddamn boat. He's headed for every ship. Come on. Let him. We're done. We're done? Most of my men are dead, Rafe. And those who aren't have already left. Can you see that? The end is literally in sight. That maniac pirate of yours has rigged this entire cave. I'm not setting foot on his ship. Nadine, if you cut and run right now, the loss of all your men, everything that we've done, is for nothing. We have millions in gold right here. I'd say that plus our lives is something. No wonder so many of your men abandoned you. Excuse me? We're on the verge of making history here, and you're willing to just walk off with a pittance, a fraction of what Sam's gonna get from that boat. If he can walk away from that ship alive, he can have it. Hell, I'd say he's earned it. God knows you didn't. Now look, we can stand here and insult each other all day, or we can finish what it is that we've <laughs> Oh, we're finishing it all right. Sorry, ma'am. Thing about mercenaries, Nadine, their loyalty, it's bought. It's not earned. Now come on. Either we can finish this thing together, or we can just end it right here. Let's go make history. And a girl. By all means. <laughs> See what you have in store for us, Captain Avery.
Where's your treasure? Nate? Where is Sam? Oh, he's right there. Sam? Relax, he's alive. Well, this idiot nearly got us all killed. I'm getting him out of here. No, you're not. Rafe, you can have the treasure, all right? Just let me save my brother. <coughs> <laughs> After everything he's done? How noble of you, but no. We stay here any longer, and we're all dead. Is that what you want? It's not what I said. What do you think, Nadine? <coughs> Good to see you up and about. Be a deer and relieve Nate there of his gun. Hand it over. You really think you can trust him? Huh? Not your concern. Now, why are you trying to instigate? Nate? Nadine and I are our partners. I don't screw over my partners. Get over there. You and your brother, though. Right from the start, you took advantage of my generosity. You tried to cut me out, and it's high time you learn. What are you doing? Now you give me your gun. <laughs> Nadine? I won't ask you again. You are being profoundly stupid right now. Look over there. Nadine, stop screwing around. Jesus! I said look! Okay, it's a couple of skeletons. So what? I don't know as much about history as you boys, but I've got a pretty good idea who those two are. Well, enlighten us. It's Avery and two. They killed each other. Good for them. What's the point? Everyone obsessed with this treasure gets what they deserve. So what, you're just leaving us here to die? Oh, I'm just leaving. Whether you die or not, I don't really care. Nadine, wait. So long, Rafe. Nadine! Nadine! You open this goddamn door right now! Rafe, she's gone! Come on, give me a hand, we'll all get out of here. won't work. Come on, help me with Sam and I'll help you open the door. I'm not going to be able to enjoy one of these coins. Knowing that you and your worthless brother are still sucking air. Just, just calm down. You can practice your fencing when we get outside. Nate, just shut up. Seriously, Rafe, this is insane, even for you. You want to hear insane? Nathan Drake raced a madman and his entire army to the steps of Shambhala. Yes, Jesus. Nathan Drake found the lost city in the middle of the Rubal Kali Desert. God damn it. Come on, we can get out of here together. Nathan Drake discovered the fabled El Dorado. Jesus. Jesus. Come on, Rafe. Stop. Nathan Drake is a legend. <laughs> you know, I... I shot the man who told me that. Look, I get it. You don't like me very much. You know, for all your greatness, Nate, you have nothing. You are nothing. And I warned you to get out of my way. Oh, I have 
sacrificed everything to find Avery, and I'm not gonna let a couple of stupid thieves, a senile con man, and a washed up journalist take that away from me! You care about that parade of losers so much. I'm going to make sure they join you. On guard, dickhead. That's the spirit. Stay in Burma, the ship, you'd be my guest. You got me. You know what, Nate? Underneath all the bravado, you're just a sad little boy with delusions of grandeur. Who, by the way, can't fence for shit. So long, Nathan Drake. Nathan! Treasure Rafe. It's all yours. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, come on, let's get you out of here. It's too heavy. Strike it. 
It's no use. Try it again. It's no use. Come on. Save this. Damn it. Listen to me. Listen to me. All I ever wanted to do was find this treasure with you. Sam, hey, sure. we did it. We did it, brother, OK? It's all right. There's going to be another way. Nathan, you got to go. There's going to be some. I've got to go. This tumped. There is no other way. Come on, Nathan. I got to know you made it out all right. No. Nathan, the whole place is about to blow up. That's it. That's it. What the hell are you doing? You stress me. God damn it. Let's get your head down. Got everything? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, feel free to sell anything I left behind. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sally. Take care, kid. Don't be a stranger. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny escapes anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 what are you telling her? Just about your little magic phase. Oh, I hate you. What was your stage name? Go on, tell her. Nate the Great. <laughs> it's not funny. It makes sense. In his defense, he was actually, you were pretty good. Uh -huh. Hey, look, Sam, it has been an experience getting to meet you. With the handshake? Well, <laughs> bring it in for the real thing, sister. You take care of this gnome skull, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join you in a sec. Yeah. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We not talked about, about that. it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, okay? Yeah. But I just kind of don't 
thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I've uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of emptiness. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end, I always left with that same feeling. And sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna let go. Well, I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, you know, you've got a few ancient cities on me. I can't let that slide. So. Yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's that's our ride. Yeah. Uh, Sam. Come far. You sure have a little brother. Come on. Listen, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Get out of here, Vemos. <laughs> What's next for you, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> well, before I got dragged into this, I was working on a business deal of sorts. Of sorts? Hmm. Dangerous? Yeah. With these people, yeah. It's up there. Well, I just so happen to know a certain someone recently out of prison who might be perfect for this kind of work. Ooh, I don't know. Is he trustworthy? More or less. As is Portuguese. Seu marido volta para casa. What's that mean? How long before your husband gets home? <laughs> That'll do. Come on. You got any more of those cigars? Don't push your luck. What's going on? Land a big contract or something? Oh, even better. I'm on the verge of selling Jameson Marine. No kidding? Yeah. Wow, that... Well, hey, I guess, I guess congratulations are in order, huh? Well, not yet, but I'm confident it'll go through. They drove a hard bargain, but in the end, I think we came to a mutually beneficial agreement. That's, that's great. Are, are you gonna stay on? No, 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 no. I think I'd like to just relax, hang with the family, go fishing every chance I get. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> so who's the sap who's gonna buy this place? Oh, uh, you are. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, come on, seriously. Oh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> wait, Jameson. Hey, wait, wait up, man. Hey, morning, guys. What are you doing here? Just thought I'd take, you know, one final look. Already gave your husband the keys. Okay. Perfect. Is, is this for real? Nate, all you need to know is that you'd be making a very wise investment. Do the right thing here. Call me when you're through. You got it. Hi. Hi. You're, you're buying Jameson Marine? We are buying Jameson Marine. Oh. Okay. How? Why? Well, I heard this rumor about a salvage job off the coast of Malaysia, and I thought it'd be right up no, our no, alley. No, Honey, look. We barely got out of Libertalia alive. Yeah. Hey, taking an illegal job? You know what that leads to. Who said it was illegal? <laughs> Look. This came in this morning. Is this legit? Yeah. 
some of my old contacts out there. They worked their magic with the Malaysian permit office. <laughs> it was great. I didn't even have to bribe anyone. Well, that's good because I don't know how we could possibly even afford to do this. Here. Hold out your hand. What? Hold out your hand. Come on. Holy crap. Where did you get this? It was in my jacket pocket. Along with a bunch more. A bunch? Sam. He's a sneaky <laughs> one. Yeah. Of course, most of them are gonna have to go into our venture here. Along with all the new camera gear. Camera gear? Yeah. You know, I figured as we're pulling all the cargo up from the dive, we could hire, you know, a small crew. We could film the whole thing and resurrect my old show. What happened to just living a normal life? I think in our attempt to lead a normal life, we may have oversteered. Look. When I was on that island, I missed the adventure. I missed us. And so now we have a chance to do what we love. But from here on out, we are gonna operate on a strictly legal basis, all right? And I will be doing all of the shooting with my really expensive camera. Wow. You've really thought all this through, haven't you? More or less. But listen, just say the word and I will call the whole thing off. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't want to be that guy who ruins Jameson's early retirement like that. That'd be cruel. Right. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, you know. Nothing worthwhile is. So, what do you say, Nathan Drake? Sure, why not? Hmm. Yeah, as long as I don't have to do any paperwork. <laughs> well, I can't do it. I'm gonna have my hands full with the camera. Well, I'm gonna have my hands full with all the diving. Okay, fine. We'll take turns. Yeah. Or... I could play for it. Seriously? No, listen, I have been practicing. I'm getting good. No. My hand eye is way I better than it used to be. Your... Really? <laughs> I cannot do that to you again. Are you afraid to play me? I am so not. Afraid on a to scale play of you. one to ten, how scared are you to play me? Like a three. Yeah, well, jack that up to like eleven, all oh, right? Because uh, I'm coming for you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my. That's okay. Fine. You're on.
old school. So good. I really should clean this up. Eh, later. Mom? Dad? Anyone? <coughs> Yoo-hoo! Sam and Sully are coming to visit. <laughs> Look at these two. Here we go. Just this one. <laughs> All right. But this is the last one for today. Okay? I think they abandoned us. We should totally throw a party in here. They wouldn't even know. She goes. Ah, 
perfect day. Now all we need is the rest of our boat crew. And not here either. Okay, I well, guess I'll just wait then. What do you keep in here? <laughs> so goofy. He left his keys. He left his keys. There's no way. There's just no way. A Spanish doubloon, but from where? Sixteenth century. Where is this from? Kind of creepy. Kind of cool. Gunsway heist? Wait, did you go looking for Avery's treasure? Harvest Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Hmm. What's this? What the hell? Hey, there you are. Hey. Been looking for you. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Uh, I just need to, um... Uh, What's up, Cassie? Okay. 
Don't be mad. Hey, I said don't be mad. Keys. <sighs> so, what did you see? Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully. With a bunch of Spanish looking treasure. And a shotgun. Yeah. Huh. This is bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. But you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a. A silver skull of some kind. No, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really? Nate? It's time to have the talk. Mm. Yeah, it's totally time. Wait, which talk are we talking about here? She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of that. That is different, and you know it. Okay, look, if you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough? How old are you again? Ha, uh, funny. Mom? All right. Well, let's see. Um, for me, it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. She knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record, I totally delivered. <laughs> yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. Oh, come on. You know I had nothing to do okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates... After you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that, pretty that's pretty much right. it. Yeah. Bullshit. Language. Language. Crap. Better. All right, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up, boat's ready, wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, wait, what did what Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal, with a map to El Dorado. The city of gold? Uh, that's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue. A cursed statue. No way, seriously? Yeah, seriously. But uh, I'll get back to that later. See, the map led us to the legend.